Hey guys, what's up? Uh, recently I took a trip to Disney World and on the plane, Virgin America plane, I found some arcade games to play. Gave you a controller like this. It's on the flip side of your remote. And you got some choices here. Uh, we're going to look at Asteroids, Pac-Man, and Missile Command. And here you will see the mask that I wear when I ride a plane because I like to not get sick. So firstly we got Asteroids here. I believe these are unique to this platform, this in-flight platform, but they seem it seems like it's a tablet game, which is odd because the game is actually, I think it said 2001. So, I don't know, maybe like a flip phone game? It's weird. When you look at this version of Asteroids, it has everything that Asteroids is supposed to have, but it plays a lot differently. I mean, it's pretty responsive, but... It looks so different. There's no big asteroids. They're all kind of small. You have you can get a shield power up there, and then you have like the UFOs. But other than that, I mean, it resembles asteroids, but it's just not the same. Worth playing for free on a plane, though, if that's all you've got. So, yeah, that's asteroids from Atari and it, yeah the menu lets you it's a touch screen but you can use the remote sort of to navigate your menu there um, so yeah this is in-flight Pac-Man this one is actually the arcade ROM with a nice bezel and it plays really faithfully as you might expect so we'll just look at that uh, pretty quick but yeah this is in-flight Pac-Man and this was a Virgin America plane. Like I said, I don't know how many times I've ridden and not noticed these games. Um, but yeah, they're free, or at least they were at the time of me filming this. And yeah, if you have nothing else to do, why not? So maybe maybe in flight Pac Man is is you know available on other airlines, but at least they had it here on Virgin America. Um, and then we'll look at Missile Command as well. The Missile Command seems pretty good. It's a it's a good port. It's sort of updated, but it's 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 the same game with the three stations you're trying to protect. You know, it play it plays the same. But it seems a little faster. Like it's actually even more difficult. Maybe that's just me. I was trying to play with one hand also, obviously. So, But uh, yeah, it seemed to be... I don't know, maybe I just suck. But it seemed like it was even harder than normal Missile Command would be. So, yeah, it reminds me, I don't know, of like a... It's so it's so delightfully post nineties, like yeah, two thousand one something. But I'm not sure I'm unsure if this if these games were developed like specifically for this or you know, it's like a widescreen format. There weren't tablets in two thousand one, so you know, in the case of that asteroids, um and I think this one was also two thousand one, it you know, it seems like maybe they were just made for for this platform so I don't know feel free to comment and let me know if you happen to be watching this and you know more I confess I have not googled these games prior to dubbing this video <laughs> so feel free to participate but there you go guys um, that is a look at the at least the classic arcade games classic style arcade games that are offered in flight on Virgin America. And I want to thank you for watching this video.